Hi there, Tim. You're just with Mr. Burns, and we're going to do some uh, short multiplication. So that means we're going to be looking at doing sums like 532 times uh, 4 and other sums just like that. Okay, and I'm going to go through some, and you're going to do them, and I'm going to show you how to do them. We're going to see whether or not you're good enough at them to go off and have a go at the assessment. Okay, let's get to it. Right, let's have a go at. 334 times 6. Right? What I actually want you to do is pause me and I want you to have a go at this in your book all by yourself. I want you to pause me and have a go at this in your book all by yourself. Okay? Go and do that right now and then come back to me. Okay, I'm hoping that you've pressed pause. If you haven't paused and had a go, then do it, but I'm going to go and do the sum now. I wanted you to have a go by yourself. Let's see how you went. Okay, what you should have done was 6 times 4, which is 24. So you put down the 4, okay, and then you carry the 2. Okay? Then you do 6 times the 3 here, which is, of course, uh, 18, and you plus the 2, which is 20. So you put down the 0, and you carry the 2. Then you have to go 6 times 3, which is of course uh, 18, uh, plus 2, which is um, 20 again. So your answer, well you've run out of the sum now, so you've got to, you don't carry it anymore, do you? So your answer should be uh, 2004. And I wonder if you got that. I hope you did. Even if you did, let's do the next one, just, just to make sure, okay? Let's have a look at another one, uh, some bigger numbers here. Let's do 856 times uh, 8. And once again, I want you to pause me, so pause me right now. And I hope you've paused me and you've had a go at the sum all by yourself in your book. So if you haven't paused me and had a go at the sum all by yourself, do that now, okay? And um, then come back. But if you have done that, good. Let's have a go at doing the sum, okay? First of all, we're going to do this bit over here. We're going to do 8 times 6. Now, 8 times 6 is uh, 48. So you put down the 8 and you carry the 4. Good. Now we're going to do 8 times 5, and we've got to deal with that 4 there. So 8 times 5 is 40, uh, plus the 4 is 44. So we put down the 4, and we carry the 4 again, and that 4 is dealt with. We can cross it off. Now we've nearly finished, we're going to do 8 by 8 over here, then we're going to add that 4 there, so let's do that, let's go 8 times 8 is 64, uh, plus the 4 of course, which is just there, there it is, uh, 64 plus 4 is 68, so your answer should have been, well, 6,848, and, and I hope you got that, uh, if you did, that's great, let's just do one more, if you didn't, well you want to follow along and learn a little bit more. But either way, we're getting you ready for your assessment here. Let's do one more uh, and go on to the next slide, Mr. Burns. Okay, let's have a go at this one. We'll make this uh, big numbers. Here you go, 929 times, oh, let's do seven. Okay, here we go. And once again, I'm gonna get you to pause it and have a go at it all by yourself. And you're gonna watch, watch what I did. And, um, okay, so, so, so pause it, and when you're finished, come back to me. So do that now. Okay, I, I hope you paused it. I hope you paused it. And uh, here we go. Let's, I wonder what you got. I wonder if you'll get the same answer as me. I hope I'm getting these right. <laughs> you might want to get a calculator and check. But first of all, let's do the, the beginning. Let's start. We're going to go 7 times 9. And 7 times 9 is, of course, 63. I might just write that down up there. So 7 times 9 is 63, so we put down the 3 and we carry the 6, good, and that's done, okay? So now we're going to do the next bit, uh, which is of course 7 times 2, then we're going to plus this 6 there, okay? So 7 times 2 is 14, plus the 6 is 20, so it's 20, right? So we put down the 0 and we carry the 2 and we've dealt with that, we added it on, that, that bit's done, okay? Now we're up to the last bit of the sum, which is of course 7 times 9, and you're going to have to add that 2 there at the end of it all. So, 
7 times 9 is uh, 63, and you've got to add that to that remainder 2 there, and that's 65. So your final answer there is 6,503. Okay, I, I think that's probably enough. Uh, I'm going to do some more videos shortly, but this will just be part 1. Look, if you got all three of those right, um, then you're probably ready for that part of the assessment and uh, you're probably okay with short multiplication all right we we're going to need to move on to two digit by two digit after this uh, if you didn't get all of them right then we're going to need to practice some more okay guys thanks for listening